Today's lesson, we're going to talk about that one fundamental master move in golf that seems to separate the good players from the not so good. Master move in golf, Mo. My vertical drop and the horizontal tug. But this is the first movement. There. Hold it up. Look at you drive a truck through it. Where's the cup going to fall? No. People do it entirely opposite. They rotate their shoulders first instead of their lower body. As a result, they come across the ball and hit the outside of the ball instead of the back. First, first foot comes straight down. The, the cup is behind going my back. Pointing. Never this. Is that pure? The watch is the is what starts first from from the top of the swing. Is that pure? Now today we're going to talk to you about it in the context of two of the greatest ball strikers that ever walked the planet. You know, the, the great Canadian Mo Norman and the legendary Ben Hogan. Both were renowned as the best ball strikers of all time. And in fact, uh, Tiger Woods recently said they were the only two players in history that owned their own swings and could control the golf ball anytime. Here we have two players, totally different in styles and preferences. Mo Norman, big man, big burly, built a little bit like an orangutan, big strong arms, upper body and back. And then we had, you know, Ben Hogan, slender, slender man, smaller, totally different philosophy in terms of how he swung the golf club. Yet they both arrived at the same point and they agreed on a couple a couple basic things in the swing to allow good ball striking to talk to happen and that's what we're going to talk about today so in terms of the style ben hogan had you know we see with his his swing pattern very classic very modern sort of the the master swing of the modern classic swing very good looking swing hogan had a lot of rotary action in the golf swing he had a real big 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 long back swing Lots of upper body turn, lots of pelvic rotation. He used a lot of rotation on the downswing to bring the club through the golf ball. And that's how he generated speed and power. And then we had Mo Norman. Again, completely different body style. Mo Norman didn't believe in a lot of hip rotation. I'll talk about that a little bit more. He was mostly upper body dominant and he had a very unique style. And if you've ever watched him, you, you see his style and pattern. For example, Mo Norman, Very wide stance, you know, he stood a long way from the ball like this. Had the club head way, way, way behind the ball, took the club back, didn't necessarily have that long a golf swing. You know, he rotated back and then down and through to hit the golf ball. You know, he drove the club down with his arms to get the club into, into position. You know, quite a bit different from the classic looking swing of Ben Hogan. So why did these two swings work? You know, why did they perform so well? They both talk about the same thing, but they do it in different ways. Mo Norman talked about it. What was the secret? You know, they asked him, what was the secret in the golf swing, Mo? Well, he talked, he talked about when he got back here, vertical drop, and then horizontal tug. So he's talking about that action of the trail arm coming down and through, and then the arms through the golf ball. And then Hogan talked about the swing from the ground up using the legs, using the lower body, the rotation of the hips to bring the golf club down. And he got the club to the top here. And it was the action of the lower body that brought that club down, that brought that trail arm down into the hitting position and then rotate through. They both did the same thing, but they both did it differently. And that's the thing to understand about that fundamental pattern is the same in their golf swings. And what we saw and both their swings, and we see this in all good players, once they get the club back, regardless of how the back swing looks, when they start down, when they start down into that down swing, what do we see? The trail arm stays folded for a long period of time. It comes down in front of the body and the angle of the wrists, the wrists don't unload early. That wrist hinge actually even will deepen with good players. So they get the club back here, they start down here, trail arm fold is maintained, that wrist hinge is maintained, and the club comes down in front of them into this delivery position, 
and then they hit through the golf ball with good arm extension. So they all possess that, that move there. And that essentially is that one magic move to golf where you maintain the, the, the position of the trail arm coming down and the wrists stay hinged. That allows you to bring that club down into that delivery position, allows you to control the path of the golf swing. So now the club is perfectly on plane here. You can see where that right arm's folded and hit through the golf ball. If you get into that position in your golf swing, you can't help but hit good golf shots. All good players get to that position. That's how they strike the golf ball. Yes, their swings look a little bit different in how they do it, but they all get to that position. So I'm gonna give you a few drills that will help you with that, that you can incorporate into your, into your swing pattern and those will help change that pattern of motion for you. And, yet, and yes, it does take a little bit of work, but not a huge amount of work. You just have to kind of retrain the body and the mind a little bit about how you're working to ingrain that into your golf swing. So, just gonna get set up here. I'm just gonna rotate back to the top of the backswing. And with this exercise, I'm just gonna work on pumping the club down. And what I wanna feel is, that action where I'm taking the club down from top of backswing to the through swing, but I'm trying to let the trail arm drop down in front of me and stay folded. The lead arm stays extended. Here I am in that position, the club is behind my hands, like that. What does the average golfer do? What do most golfers do? They get the club up here. They want to rush the club into the golf ball. They want to hit the ball from up here. So we see this separation where the arms separate from the body. We get this early unloading of the hands and wrists. They throw the club from out in, and then we get all kinds of poor contact. So again, here up to the top, I just work on pumping that club down. So I'm, trying, I'm maintaining my wrist angle here, and I'm letting that club drop in front of me. The other thing to notice as I do this, and this is something that all good players do, to, to, regardless of how they rotate to move through the golf ball, Mo Norman liked to feel like his hips were pretty square. His hips did open up, just not as much as some of the players on, on the tour today do with their hips wide open and like Hogan did. But when they're coming down, regardless of the length of the swing, you move from the back foot to the lead foot. There's an early pressure shift where you sock yourself down into that left foot to start your downswing. That helps facilitate that move there. Up to the top here, and I'm just working on pumping that club down, and you can see I go from the back foot to the lead foot. Here, here, I'm in that impact delivery position now, and then I can rotate through. And the reason why you're going you to do some practice swings with it, well, what happens when you put the ball in front of you? You know, maybe you do a couple drills, or you go for a lesson, and you, and you incorporate a, mo a movement, and you, and you start hitting the ball pretty good. And then what happens rapidly after that? You'll regress back to what you're used to doing. You know, that mind-body connection, you go back to what's been ingrained for so long, and you just you go back to the old pattern. So that's why you gotta do some practice swings and drills without the ball to try to ingrain that new pattern of motion. Here, like that. And then through. You really feel that dynamic action from top of backswing through to the impact position. And you can see I'm not trying to throw the club out like that, right? The club's coming down. You can see that position there where that arm is. There's that hitting action and then through. So regardless of how your swing looks, we need that action in the golf swing. Another way to feel that, some players have a little bit of trouble feeling that. I've got a couple weights here. There's a light one here and a little bit heavier, a 10 pound one. That helps give you some feel. That will help give you some feel in that trail arm when you're swinging. I've got the 10 pounder here. So if I'm setting up here, I, I try to throw this thing at the ball. That's pretty awkward. And that, that's really, really hard to do. When I start down, if I keep the arm close to me and I let it come back close to me, oh, this is a lot easier to do. This elbow drops in front of me, the shoulder comes down naturally, like that. And I can feel that action. 
the arm coming back toward me, the arm stays folded here like that. And then rotate through. So that's a good practice drill do to, tra to train that feel for that trail arm to stay folded. Use a weight that's comfortable for you. That might be just a can of beans, for example. It might be a two pound weight. It might be a five or eight pound weight. Up to the top, down, the arm stays close, and then through like that. This way I'm ingraining that nice pattern, right? The trail arm stays, stays folded and close to me through the striking of the golf ball like that. Next, a couple, couple simple drills you can do where you don't have to incorporate swinging a golf club. Maybe you don't have room where you are at, at home, you don't feel like swinging a club, but you want to practice a little bit. Well, you can work very effectively just doing practice swings without, without the golf club, just by incorporating a couple moves into the swing to help feel that pattern of motion. First one, I'm going to have to get set here. I take my trail arm, I put it behind my lead arm. So I'm a right-handed golfer, so my right hand goes right here underneath and get it in front of the lead arm there. Take my stance, so that gets me naturally in a good setup position, lead arm extended, right arm underneath me there, and I'm gonna to rotate to the top of my backswing. And then coming down, I want to keep the pressure on the hands. I want to keep the, those two hands together as I start down like that. And look what happens. I get into that great trail arm position here where it folds and it drops in front of me. Impact. And around. So it's a wonderful practice drill for training the arms and body to work together. For the arm swing to stay connected to what your upper body is doing, your torso. There. and around and through. Just again, here, here, boom. Wonderful, wonderful drill to help train, retrain the arms and hands. And then another good one. Use the exercise bands. I guess we got one of these fitness bands here. Extend my arms down, put a little bit of live tension on it. Get myself set. I want to keep the tension on the bands as I swing. That helps to keep my arms comfortably extended and close to me. So when I go to the top of the swing, both arms are working with my trunk. I start down, both arms are working with the trunk as I come back down. Here, down, and through. So it's hard to do that business when you've got the bands there because I'm trying to keep the tension on the bands. So here, down, helps give me the feel for getting into that position, impact, and then through and around. Just like that. Wonderful practice drill. And the last one, I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna put my arms up in front of me here to start with, hands together. I wanna to press them together. I wanna to feel a little bit of live tension there. And then I'm gonna cock my wrists. I'm just gonna hold that there. And I'll do a couple swings from up here, first of all, like that. So by cocking the wrists and putting some pressure in the hands, I'm presetting the correct impact position. And look what happens to that right arm. I'm not even thinking about that. Look at that position there. What does that remind you of? That's that impact position to strike the golf ball that we need here, like this, back and through. There's no attempt to kind of do this and that and square the golf club up and that. I, I don't need to do that. If I move that club down properly into that correct position, that's going to happen all by itself. You'll, you'll have a wonderful club face control. There, like that. So I do a few of those. Arms and body are turning together. And then I drop it down. I'm into my setup position here. Get the wrist set into that impact position. I go to the top and then when I start down, I keep that pressure. I keep that pressure on the hands. Look at that fold there, that happens naturally. There, 
impact, and then through. Set, up, down, and then through. Wow. It was a fantastic practice drills. You don't need to swing a golf club. They'll retrain how your arms and body move so that you can learn these new positions and work it into your swing as you go. So you're changing your swing, but you're not really changing, you know, some static positions where you go here like this, this, and this. You're changing the overall motion. And that motion is making these dynamic changes, these positive changes in your golf swing. So give those drills a try. They'll, they'll really help you. We want to, you know, we really want to understand that there's, there really isn't no magic style or swing pattern. You know, there's lots of different looking swings out there, but it's all the good players, they all move a certain way. They all have that fundamental pattern of motion. And that re real key move is that transition move from backswing starting down into the downswing and maintaining the, that fold and set in that trail arm that sets the club up in that great position to release the golf club and have that fantastic impact position to strike the golf ball. And that's the real fundamental move that separates all really, really good players. If you have any questions or, and comments, put them into the comments below. Be happy to deal with them as we go. If there's any swing tips in different areas of the game that you want to deal with and want to have video lessons on, throw them into the comments. Barry from Over 50 Golf, let's keep playing golf, let's keep practicing, let's keep having fun.